And next is the relative race on BYU TV. Let's find out more. It is time for competitive family fun in relative race. And talking with us today is host, co-creator, and executive producer, Dan Debenham. Dan, thanks so much for being here today. And I understand you're right in our backyard here in Salt Lake City. Yeah, thanks for having me, Christine. In fact, I've done some work for PCTV in the past. So uh, it's great to be with you. And it is, it, it's always fun to talk with uh, others that are in our area. And of co course, you can watch Relative Race, the show that we're talking about. Since we are in Utah, you can watch Relative Race uh, uh, on BYU TV, uh, KBYU locally, and it streams in beautiful high definition. Or you can stream it anytime you want on the BYU TV app, which is a free app you can download it. But uh, we always love with talking to people that are closer to home. So we, we both, I'm sure, share the love of our fresh, beautiful uh, powder. Very true, which we have a lot of today, and we always enjoy supporting local shows and talent. So I can't believe this is season seven. Tell me more about this season. Yeah, so this season, season seven of Relative Race, uh, each season we feature four teams that are desperate to find family and have been looking for them their entire lives. Um, there, each team is two people. Uh, this team, we have two married couples and we have two best friends and we have two twin brothers that are competing. We fly them to a, uh, location. Uh, we take away all their technology, provide them with paper maps and an, a flip phone, an old fashioned flip phone with only, uh, no GPS and only texting and picture taking, uh, potential on it. And then each and every day I, as the host, text them with clues and every day they race to a di different city across the country in hopes of finding family once they arrive in that city we provide a challenge for them which is kind of like amazing race or survivor once they overcome that challenge uh they're provided with the final clue which is the address to, the, to their relative in th that city once they arrive at that uh location the, the address of the relative their clock stops their clock started at the first text in the morning, it stops when they arrive at that location, they go to the door, they ring the doorbell, the doorbell opens up and they ask that obvious question, are you my relative? And the person says, I am. And then the obvious follow-up question, how are we related? And the key here, Christine, let's say it's you, Christine. So you knock on the door and you say, how are we related? And that person in the door, uh, the typical answer after our six or eight months of research, all culminating in this moment, <laughs> That person says, well, Christine, I'm your father, or I'm your brother, or I'm your sister, or I'm your mother. Uh, it is incredible to see what happens in that moment when their entire life they've wondered, is there anybody else out there? Is there anybody that, that I can find that is biologically related to me? And they find them right then and there. And they, the typical reaction is there's tears and hugs and laughter and then the next day it starts all over again they get a new clue and they're racing to a different city each day the team that takes the longest to find their relative receives a strike if you receive three strikes you're out of the race but if you make it to day 10 and finish in first place you win fifty thousand dollars thus the name relative race it's this incredible adventure and emotional and also life-changing in a way as you meet people that are family that you never knew before. How, how is season seven different from other seasons? It sounds like you have some dynamic individuals that are joining the series, but are there any other marked differences in this season? I'm glad you asked, Christine. We have a very unique twist in uh, the very first episode, which is, again, this Sunday night. It'll air locally at 7 p.m. Um, and so there's a twist. I just said that there's no that there's no smart technology, right? There's no GPSs that you can't use your smartphone. That's taken away from them. But this season, there's a twist. Um, I can. Well, I guess. I guess it doesn't give it away. They are provided with a GPS, but it's not the type of GPS that you think. And so uh, it's pretty interesting to see how people use this surprise GPS and if it helps them or actually hurts them throughout the course of the 10 days of racing. It is, in my opinion, this season is one of my two favorite seasons. Um, again, this is season seven. But this is either my favorite season or one of my top two favorite seasons. I, it's really compelling television that's needed, I think, more now than ever with everything that's going on. There's all this 
you know, this concern and this element of uh, unknown. And, and so who do we look for when we're in that situation? We, we want family and people that we lo love to be with us and support us and be able to share those feelings. And so this is the time and the moment for another great season to debut because you see what happens when they find family that they didn't know that they have or have been looking for their entire life. I am intrigued. And also speaking of how we do need this now more than ever, I, I hate to almost ask this, but I feel like everything in life is now framed this way. Was this filmed before the pandemic or after? And how no. did that change or did it change? Yeah, we, we, uh, we were scheduled to film in uh, March right when everything was shut down. So we were actually delayed by four, four months, I think, four or five months. And then we went through all, all the protocols needed, both on a federal and state level. And it was massive what we had to undertake. We, we have 40 crew mem members traveling across the country, but there was daily testing. Uh, of course, every precaution that was needed, we had in place if somebody uh, was in contact or, or tested positive. We had backups waiting to be flown in. It was, it was uh, quite an undertaking and added for us, the production company, another layer of, um, of challenges, which we enjoy. I mean, look, we enjoy our jobs and we enjoy this show, I, I would say more than anything that we've ever created. In 35 years, this is the most compelling, wonderful, difficult, challenging, uh, shows that I've ever been a part of, but it's also by far the most gratifying. And, and doing this in COVID safely and carefully added that those same elements. It was even more difficult, but even more satisfying when you see uh, what we're able to present to a nationwide audience this coming Sunday night. I'm very much looking forward to watching season seven of Relative Race premieres, as you mentioned, this Sunday, February 21st. 7 p.m. Mountain Time. You can watch it on BYU TV and also streams for free on the BYU TV app. Dan, thanks so much for joining us today, and what an exciting season. Thanks, Christine. Thanks for having me. You have a great day.